Okay guys, welcome back to another Let's Play episode. Um, so, since the villagers have now a new way of breeding, what I'm doing right now is just dropping them on there. Hopefully I've got all the different traits I should have. There's like 40 villagers here. Uh, if not, I can always start breeding them again. Um, but for now, I just wanted to get them out of here so I can get them down. Because previously, there was a row of water right here as well, which pushed them to the center, so they would not. Uh, so there will there will have to had to be a lot before they got pushed in here. But now I removed that, so now they all getting pushed in there. Let's just remove that water since now it's just annoying. If we can get over there, there we go. So, now we can hopefully, oh crap, they're probably going to walk away, nope, that's one, okay, so they're out of this area, let's do this then, we might get these lost two later, but I might want to keep them there for now, uh, since I think they should still be breeding now, oh, oh that's the screenshot. Let's see, there's one entity there, yes. Um, but also, I've got this stuff on me. Because I want to try to fix this thing. Uh, I actually... Uh, the cow farm, I'm actually... Oh, crap. Ah, good thing I've got feather falling. Um, but the cow farm, I have been rebreeding it a bit. Uh, there's about 20 to 30 in there now. I want to get up to about 30 to 40, and then I... Well, 30 should be fine, actually. Uh, so, but right now I've got the water closed off, so they shouldn't be able to be pushed into the, like, the lava part. Yeah, see, this is the problem. This is what's happening. So the one on top is dead, and the other ones are into inside the hopper. So let's take... Oh, crap, that was not smart. Let's see, hopefully I've got the redstone that fell off. Let's see, let's grab this. Let's break the rest. So, I don't know how to do this perfect. I'm gonna try. If he Come on, walk. Guess not. Okay, that's not good. There's not even X in here. I have to look for X now since I don't have any here. Hmm. Well, in any case, let's do this again. Uh, but this time, we're going to go up to. Now let's fix the redstone. Oh, where's my comparator? There is no comparator here. Oh, did he flush off as well? Probably did. Crap. Uh, what was I missing here? That. Okay. Uh, let me try to grab that comparator real quick. <laughs> oh! Wow, I actually survived that. Good to remember. I can drop off of there. Hopefully there's nothing down here. Oh, there we go. Comparator. Wow, I was... I th I really thought I was dead there. That, that went well. Let's get up. Man, so high. It's like 60 blocks of cobweb. By the way, if you don't uh, wasn't subscribed yet when I built this thing for the first time, uh, basically what this does it, it stores eggs inside this thing, and then once there are enough, like so, that they start uh, stacking up into the hopper. A uh, clock will run. They will shoot out, and if a baby chicken is born, you will basically just fall down very slowly thanks to the cobweb and by the time he's down he should be grown up so that's the concept of this farm uh... why do i have a redstone is there a redstone missing somewhere oh wait there we go now that should work so let's get up there again and now this time what i want to do is i want to make this a bit a bigger area so hopefully they won't crush each other. Oop. 
That's not what I wanted to do. Let's just make it a 3x4 area. And then let's put some carpets on top to hopefully stop them from glitching inside the hoppers. Then what we want to do is we want to put it on walls on this thing. Or do we want to use glass? I think we want to use glass. There we go. And there we go. <coughs> glass all around. Of course, we're going to have to do this two layers. I don't think I've got enough for this. Uh, I th maybe. Nope. I'm gonna be. Ah, oh, come on. Not cool. Not cool at all. Hmm. Let's plop in that for now. So now the plan is just just put in the chickens there. If this doesn't work, what I might do is just put in a layer of signs right here. Make this too higher again, and then place a row of water on top. But this should already work, so now all I have to do is get some chickens in here. But, normally when I get up here, there are lots of chicken eggs in this dispenser. And since there isn't any right now, that is a problem. So, let's do it right this time, there we go. Let's see, do we have any chicken eggs left? Oh, you could hear the cows there. Oh, let's put this back. I don't think we need that for now. Oh wait, I want to keep one of those. By the way, if you don't know, it's basically a chest for stuff to expand my mob farm. Which, if you don't know, this is my mob farm. We got our iron golem farm and the chicken farm. That's basically the three high things here. Uh, are we actually in a new snapshot? No, I don't think that's a new one. I think we're already at 14w11b. But, as far as I know, also the minecart has gotten a lot faster and glitchier. Uh, and also, which is which is very cool, uh, worlds should load a lot faster. So that means uh, you can also, since the minecarts go fast, now it's actually needed. But let's breathe them one final time. Because, let's see. Oh, another screenshot. It's quite dark in my room, so I can't really see my buttons. Here we go, there's about... Oh, there's already 40 in there. At least I see 40 entities. Let's just... Go down to 20. Huh. I guess the rest is all like little kids in there still. Anyway, that should be enough. So now we just have to wait till they grow up. Which is 20 minutes. And all we have to do is we have to remove this block right there, which should... Was he suffocating? Oh crap. Oh yeah, that's what I am. Oh crap, that was a huge mistake. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's just kill the ones that are escaped. Don't do that ever again. I'm a bit afraid that when I break that block, the water which goes to the side might suffocate the the cows. That's the word. Wow. Um, it's, it's late at night. Well, that's not true. It's like 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. I have no idea. It's 7 o'clock. Well, it's actually 20 or 19. 19:03. So we. Uh, we go with 24 hours here, we don't have p.m. a.m. I always forget, is it after midnight or past midnight? I think it's past midnight. I don't know. Let's see. Do we have any chicken eggs? This okay, we got six. That might be a problem. Let's see. I don't think I should have cut them anywhere else. Uh, oh wait, that's my crab chest. Why didn't that sort, is it? Let's run that through again. 
Huh. That's odd. I think Rob Beef is getting sorted. Yes, okay. Maybe I have to, like, I actually haven't fully tested this thing yet. As you can see, it's getting a little bit laggier now. We're down to about 15 FPS, so... It's actually more the clicking that annoys me more, since I'm actually used to a bit low FPS. Um, but let's see, I think it's... For oh, crap. I forgot about the efficiency 5 haste 2. Not good. Not good at all. I still have to like check if everything is working because some stuff might not be completely right, uh, rightly timed. So maybe some stuff isn't correctly sorting. I still have to test the system, but in any case, let me get some uh, chickens, and after that we can uh, go test out the cows. So I will be right back. Okay, guys. So hopefully it's safe. Oh, at least... No, it's night. Huh. Okay, so what I did is... I got some more eggs. There was some few chickens hanging around here. And with a seed I found just messing bushes. Uh, I just got them to go in here. Put a hopper down. Broke the block on top of the hopper and they fell on top of it. So hopefully we will get some chickens from this. If not, I can just get some more right there. Probably forget that forever, but that's okay. I don't like chickens anymore. I came over here and none of these chickens actually laid an egg where they were. So I actually had to, Oh, thank you. Like that. None of that. Oh, I was further away than I thought. I thought I could walk this. I'm actually out of carrots, I had to eat pork chops I found. Well, I didn't find pork chops, I found pigs, but, you know. One thing led to another. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully skip the boring part there. So, let's see if we can get some chickens now. That's one. Oh. Come on. I want to have at least two or three. Perfect, three. So once they grow up, they will slowly fill in this uh, dispenser, so I can always get more chickens just by grabbing the the eggs from the dispenser, but hopefully, the, I, I just hope they stay alive. Um, but yeah, that's that fix. Ooh, that was close. Let's kill these bastards. Let's get inside. Yeah, they're not creating any new ones. No, but that's okay. I actually want to keep them. Since that th thing up there is no longer working, if I'm not mistaken. That's a lot. Uh, the only way to breed them now is to trade with them. So I don't even think I need this building or this. Uh, but I don't think I will take it down as it's like three entities here. Maybe one day if I want to like clean up everything around here but then again how do I ever like clean this up you can't make that pretty maybe build a giant tree around it but then still it will be a tree half in desert and half in river so it would like be very grayish and yeah it's almost impossible I also plan on maybe like mining this out a bit more like making it a, a bit lower Maybe like put a mine inside, like a big round that goes all the way to bedrock and like almost like a crane going into that. And why are there so many arrows here? That's weird. Well, in any case, let's go over to the cows. See if they've grown up so far. Oh, I have to go up here. I don't... oh, grab... That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, there are definitely still some small ones in there, but we've got like at least over a 30. So hopefully this will go alright. 
Now the thing is, as soon as I break that block, they will shoot to the side. So I might have to place a... Wait a second, maybe I can do this. Um, like that, break this. And hopefully I can now... Okay, there we go. I think it's working. I don't see any cows suffocating. There's still about 30 in there. Let's breed them. Oh, you should see the cows coming by. Yep, there's definitely some cows coming by. Awesome. Okay, I think it's working. Let's fill that in completely. Put this back and let's go check out downstairs. I don't hear any bad sounds, so I think they're not burning. Um, I cannot really check. That's the issue, however. Oh, here we go. I'm afraid to dig out the wrong block. I should have done this before I sent the cows in here. Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't do this. Well, in any case, basically there is cows now, if everything is alright. Uh, let's see, they should be going down and then... Huh, where should they be? Right around here. Or was it a lot lower? Let's try to find them now. Okay, how high can it oh crap. Okay, I found the blade. So they must be right around here. Oh crap. Yep, there we go. Um well that's not good. Push you down again. Nope. Uh, okay, they're not cooperating. But something is stopping the cows. Wait. Oh, they're not getting pushed through, I think. Is that the problem? Huh. Okay, yes, I'm gonna go from topic to topic because I went over here and for some reason I actually got two new ones already here, a cleric and a li librarian. Um, but there were two villagers right here and they both died. There was still a minecart there but the villager was gone. Then when I checked in here, they had, there were no 40 villagers here, there were only like 5. And, oh crap, pop up, thank you. The problem is, I think... Oh, it's not what I wanted. Uh, remember, I placed this pressure plate here so I can measure how many mobs there are here. Uh, just so that if there is too many here, I can shut off the system and kill them. Just to stop an overload in my world. However, when I designed that, I didn't think of fall damage. Yeah, so I think most of them fell to the death. Because I think right above this block is where they drop down, so... Yeah, that's a big problem. That was quite stupid of me. So what I have to do now is I think I'll just put some water on top here so they will, won't take any fall damage. Uh, but now I have to uh, farm them again because I'm out of villagers. I don't know. So I guess I'll take two, put them next to each other and start breeding with them. Or uh, trading with them. Because that's the only way to get more villagers now, so... Uh, that's just something I wanted to show you. That was quite stupid of me. Derping a lot this episode because somehow these vi these uh, cows are not really separating. I don't know. Let's see. I can still see lots of baby cows. 
So somehow they are not getting pushed through. And I don't really know why. But I'll figure it out. Let's see. Let's see if we go down here. We can see lots of cows there, so that's not the problem. Hmm. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can fix either of these problems, and uh, yeah, I will be right back, hopefully with some good news, finally. But so far, sh stuff has been turning out bad, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, <coughs> so we're back at my creative world, if you don't know. Um, but I have been testing a bit with this, and there seems to be some flaws with this. I, I should have, like designed this a bit better before I actually made it. Um, about the villagers, by the way, I'm just going to ignore that for now. It's not, it's not the biggest problem. Um, there's lots of like small problems around my base. We've got the villagers now. The chickens should be working, but this cow farm. Uh, first of all, well, already with the sorting out of the babies, it's going a bit weird. Let's push you in. As you can see, that one went out straight away. However, as soon as there's a bit more, let's just push you off. Let's place some more in there. Now, if I were to breed them, oh, that's not smart. That's not smart. Oh crap! Um. Well, crap. And anyway, <laughs> okay, I'm doing great so far. And anyway, uh, when I was breeding them, they seemed to get stuck in here. They wouldn't, they weren't getting pushed out because of all the big cows that were in there. So I think maybe there's only got to be like a maximum of 16, or I gotta figure out a better way to sort them out. And then there was the second issue, and that is, well, right now you can't really see it, uh, but when the the parents are here the baby cows always try to do this. They try to stay close to the parents. So they always try to find a, a big cow. Right now, since he's right there, he d they don't push that far. But if they are over there... Let's push... Let's put one in. Let's kill this guy. Oh, now they want to go to this guy. Okay, that's interesting. I just place this guy here. Uh, this is basically what we want. As you can see, they're right below the lava right now. The problem with this is I think this way items will also fall onto the trapdoor, so... Um, but I'll have to figure this out a bit more, but unfortunately we're already at about 24 minutes now. So I think I gotta end the episode here. I will keep messing around with this, and hopefully I will try to come up with a good design. That does work. Because this kind of sucks. Oh, there was a little area I tried to like, sort stuff out. Um, but if you make it one and a half high, as soon as you put water in there, the the big cows will also go through. So that's not helping. Um, but yeah, I'll mess around with it, and uh, hopefully, even though it was a bit chaotic, you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like or subscribe if you want to see more, of course. And otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.